So today I've been thinking a lot about how we implement change into our lives. And I want to talk a little bit about that today here on Wisdom Wednesday. <laughs> hey there everybody, it's Rev Kev. Pray you're having an amazing day today. Please excuse the poor quality of this video. Uh, it's getting towards the end of the day, uh, out uh, running a couple of errands and I've been thinking a lot today about change and I wanted to talk a little bit about that here on Wisdom Wednesday. Um, I'm a pastor, I've shared that before. Most Sundays I prepare a 35 to 55 minute long sermon, you know, and I preach it to my congregation on Sunday morning and simulcast on Church Online all week long. And, um, you know, when I prepare those sermons, you, you look at a biblical text, you look at a theme, you look at some big ideas, and then you draw out application. You know, like, what does this text mean for my life? What does this text mean for your life? And then kind of hope that transformation happens. <laughs> hope that people are touched in their hearts and their minds in such a way that it brings about change. Now, if I preach 85% of Sundays at my church, that means I'm preaching about 45 Sundays a week. I don't expect people to make 45 changes in their lives, <laughs> right? Change is a slow process in, in so many different ways. And I find what tends to happen is we, we somehow get into our heads all the ways that we need to change. Like we think, for example, well, I need to lose weight. I need to start exercising. I need to get my finances in order. I need to be a better husband. I need to be a better father. I need to do, be a better employee. I need to be a better son. Like all of these things jump into our minds when we talk about change, when we think about bettering ourselves. And, and, and we become overwhelmed by it. Just completely and totally overwhelmed by it. And because we, we become so overwhelmed with all the parts of our lives that we would love to see changed, we do nothing. <laughs> we do absolutely nothing. And we just keep living life the same old way. And so that's what really got me thinking um, about when it comes to change in our lives, when it comes to change in, in really in any area of our lives, I've become a big, big fan of something that I got from um, author Dr. Greg Wells. He's a Canadian author here. Um, he's written a couple of books. I'm reading his second book right now, or third book, can't remember what it, what it is. And um, in his books, he talks about the 1% change. He talks about making small changes. Right? Not making a million changes, but what is one small 1% change that you can make in your life to better your life? Whether that be uh, in fitness, whether that be in your diet, whether that be wh wherever that is in your life, what does that look like for you? And um, that's what I found so fascinating about that concept is it takes away the stress and, and the challenge of trying to change everything, just finding that 1%. So maybe for you, it's, you know, I'm just going to change what I eat for breakfast. I'm not gonna try to change everything that I eat. I'm not gonna try to completely get rid of all junk food and all processed food. I'm gonna start with one meal. I'm just gonna start with breakfast, right? And what could that look like? Or maybe, you know, you start reading on a book, a book on a topic that you want to learn. Different things like that. There's so many different 1% little small changes that you and I can make. Then suddenly it's not so overwhelming. It's not so crazy. And then you actually start to see progress um, happening in your life. Because I know personally for me, when I try to change too much, I change nothing. But when I've, ever since I've implemented that 1%, and I've been doing this now for about two years, just implementing small 1% changes in my life, I'm sleeping better, I'm dropping weight, I'm eating better, I'm exercising regularly, my mental health 
is so much better. My anxiety is way down. My depression is way down. My walk with God is so much better. My relationship with my wife is good. My relationship with my kids is good. My relationship at the church is good. And it's not all in one shot. Small, 1% changes. So what could you do? What's a 1% change that you can implement into your life, even this week, to start drawing you closer to the place that you want to go? That's what I want you to think about this week. I hope this encourages you. And if you have a 1% change that you want to make, share it with me in the comment section below. And until the next video, just God bless you. And we'll talk to you soon. Take care.